so surprised how much spirit is coming through the oracle cards and the pendulum. I asked spirit to identify themselves and found out it was my father who was coming through. I had a dream years ago with my mother and asked about my father. Her response was, pray for him. He's not here. I assumed that meant that he was reincarnated, but he is coming through loud and clear now. I still pray for both any time I think of them, which is cool. And then I commented, though, and I said, that's fantastic. Interesting thing to contemplate. Your father could be both reincarnated and on the other side. Both can be true. To which some people said, whoa, what? Huh? Mind blown. And so I wanted to talk about that because it is interesting. Yes. Our departed loved ones have... <laughs> How do we say this, spirit? There are many layers to... Our individuality, my, my crystalline Compton-ness, that exists. There's the crystalline Compton here talking to you with my mind running this system. I have a higher mind that can navigate this system and observe this system and also this, this dimension, which doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily as, as proximate feelingly. And what I mean by that is it's not my brain, it's not my direct mind that I'm functioning with now, but it's proximate. I just it doesn't feel as proximate as that mind. Above that, we have another iteration of crystal and comptonness, which we can call the higher mind, and above that we have another layer of crystal and comptonness. So I'm not going to go into the vast metaphysical aspects of it, but these iterations of the individual crystal and compton continue to ascend, if you will, not that there's any direction associated with this, until they are indistinguishable with the higher self. The higher self, of course, being the oversoul complex. There is always going to be a static, meaning a, a non-moving, an inert rather, version of ourselves, the totality of who we are, that exists and that we can access. So your father has an oversoul. But your father also has these other iterations of himself, his individual self as he was in life, that also exist and are to some degree stable, which do not preclude him from reincarnating into another life as another individual person with another individual identity. These identities are connected. Just as I had another life 200 years ago, that was a different person, but it's connected to me, isn't it? And some would say I can access it and I am impacted to some degree through tendencies, predispositions, and even preferences in this life from a past life. Now, I don't have full knowledge of that for reasons we won't get into now, but it's connected. There's a thread there that connects me to 200 years ago, Crystal Ann Compton, the man or the woman or the Great Dane. I don't know. <laughs> There's a thread that connects us. Different individual identity, but same. Am I making sense? So you can, and I want to I wanna actually bring this back to my father, because my father died in 1995, quite a while ago. And I believe he has reincarnated. I believe that was part of the whole process for him, especially based on some of the choices that he made in life. Um, validation has come through for me that he's, come back to work some of that out and work out the shadow and the things that he really didn't, he wasn't able to process in his life when he was alive. And so he's come into another iteration, but he's still connected to Dennis Milligan. He still made the choice to come back into a new individual identity because of choices he made as Dennis Milligan. So he's alive somewhere on the planet now. And by the way, Family members tend to reincarnate into the same family. So if your dad dies in 95 and then your brother has a child in 2000, like there's a, there's a chance that your brother has brought forth the reincarnation of your father. That We tend to stay in the same soul group. But at the same time, the higher mind or the mind that is orchestrating, if you will, all of these lives connected by a thread, that higher mind being, that crystal and Compton-ness, is accessible and she can speak to the past lives of Crystal Ann Compton. She can speak to the life that Crystal Ann Compton had, even though she might have she might have decided already to send Crystal Ann Compton into a new life. <laughs> Better not. Let me tell you right now. 
<laughs> she better she better give me a break. I need at least 500 years. But she may decide to do that. I, we can always talk to that higher mind, Crystal Ann Compton. And we can also go higher than that to the totality of who we are, the I am that I am. So if we want perspectives on things like karma, which again, I don't subscribe to traditional views of karma, but preferences, predilections, patterns that are inside of us that we brought with us, things we're trying to work out, like my dad is trying to work out now in a new life. If we want insight into that, we want to go to that stable, always existing, higher mind that governs it all. So both can be true. And I hope that wasn't too weird or out there for all (laughs) y'all. Okay. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalancompton.com. See you there.